earlier that Trevor and Christine really made a mistake when they asked me to MC because I'm pretty sure it was Trevor's way of making sure that I wouldn't tell any stories about him. So, but then he said, oh, we're going to do open mic and, and, you know, of course you're going to run this, so of course you're not going to talk. No, no. He clearly does not know me well enough. <laughs> so there are many memories that I was lucky enough to share with Trevor in university where I met him. And uh, the very first few times that we met each other, we, we actually knew each other as our backup dates because we would call each other when no one else could come to an occasion and so it was, you know, first we were like, we'd call two people and then we'd call each other. And then we were pretty stoked when we got up to the point where we'd call only like one person and then we would call each other if the first choice couldn't make it. And eventually we actually started calling each other first to go to stuff. But I think what Trevor liked to call me most for was to study chemistry. Because it turns out Trevor liked chemistry, but he did not like to study very much at all. And he knew. But I read some pretty decent notes. But occasionally, and this is my favorite story about Trevor, he would sort of descend into a pit of despair around chemistry time. And there was one particular exam where I was having difficulty writing the exam because the smell of vodka off of Trevor's water bottle <laughs> during the exam <laughs> was strong enough that it was inhibiting my ability to think. He may or may not have taken that course again <laughs> the following semester, but Trevor's always been a really great friend, and he's always been there. And he's always been a little quirky, and I would have to echo uh, some, some comments that were made earlier about the first time I met him and Christine. And we were like, oh, yes, this works. This is good. And so we're so thrilled to be here to celebrate the two of you. And to celebrate the fact that you actually, in the universe, managed to find each other and make such an amazing match together. So congratulations to Trevor and Christine. I think they'd both like to say a few words to everyone who's here today. Thanks, Dan. I did take that course three times. I think I did vodka only the first two times, so lessons learned. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Uh, we appreciate it very much, especially to those of you who traveled a long way to join us. So coming to us all the way from Boulder, Colorado, please welcome Mark Peterson and Kelly Harrison. Of no relation to myself, my act. Please stand here and wave to my colleagues. Also coming to us from a small town in the middle of nowhere, we have our MC, Jay Shanahan, here from Saskatoon. from Toronto, Ontario, but uh, we won't hold that against her because she used to live on Balmoral, like some of us. Sandra Storischuk, stand up. <laughs> from up in the Klondike, a little north of here, from the scenic Yukon and Whitehorse, uh, my uncle Norman Unra and Wendy Holloway, please acknowledge yourself. And yes, we do have some Albertans in the room. They're from Edmonton, mind you, so it's not as bad. Um, Pat and Nicole Polarski, you guys. Okay, so I think next it's fitting to thank our wedding party for being here. Um, I have had a few drinks now, so I may be okay without crying, but I'm going to apologize. I am going to have to read this, because otherwise I may not make it through my speech. Um, so I want to start by thanking Kelly, Joanne, Amanda, and Megan for being part of my bridal party. You girls all mean so much to me, and this day wouldn't be the same without all of you here. About 12 years ago today, I was Kelly's maid of honor, and I knew then that someday I would ask her to do the same for me, and here she is. You have truly been the best friend a girl can have. Through Kelly, I met Joanne, and ever since, we have been a great trio of friends, and I am so happy we all 
grew to be so close. It wasn't until I worked at E Traffic that I met Amanda, and then she introduced me to Megan, and we all became friends. Amanda and Megan helped me get through turning 30 by making me feel like I was still a 25-year-old. <laughs> and a big thank you to Megan for doing my hair and making me feel so beautiful today, and to Amanda for flying out to be here, coming all the way from Winnipeg. She may have missed this day yet, but at least she didn't miss the wedding. I think all of you girls have endured your share of listening to my dating rents and woes over the years and got me through some rough batches and then you were also there to support my relationship with Trevor. To the bridesmaids, clap, 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 clap. <laughs> The boys on my left are indeed the most tremendous friends anybody could ever ask for. Last weekend notwithstanding. <laughs> and going back a long time, I remember that pumpkin, Aaron. And going a long ways. So Cuba to Canada, Charles? Um, <laughs> or in the case of Pete, we just knew each other far too long, just far, far too long. <laughs> So, you know, whether it was from sleepovers to school trips, camping to white water rafting, uh, at, the, at recess or in the gym, the drama portable, or even a Sikh temple two weeks ago, you've always been there with me, through thick and thin, every step of the way. Five years ago, uh, we lost someone, another tremendous friend. In fact, I think Tasha was my very best and closest friend. And these gentlemen here, before you, these incredible guys were there, and they swooped in to take care of me and some other people in this room as well. So thank you very much, you guys. You're the very, very best. If I haven't already returned the favor at your wedding, I will look forward to it, especially putting Peter and Aaron in a red dress. <laughs> I would also like to thank Jay for agreeing to be one of our MCs this evening. If you had been a girl, Jay, I would have asked you to join my bridal party, but seeing that you obviously aren't, I needed to find another important role for you today. We have shared some great times over the years, a lot of them taking place in Florida, but I'm glad that you were able to make it back to BC just for our wedding so that we can have some more memories here in Canada. You are a great friend, and thanks for being here and putting up with our many emails related to your MC duties. A round of applause for Jay, please. And let's not forget Jenna, our other MC for the day. Um, how many weddings and banquets have we been to now, Jenna? <laughs> I could always count on Jenna, whether as my jazz vocalist, my backup date, or in this case, the charming MC that's able to keep up with the notorious shenanigans. So Jay, if you want your night in Lawrence to get a little more interesting and funny, just hand her a beaker filled with beer. <laughs> we also couldn't have pulled off today without a lot of help. To start, we'd like to thank our ushers from earlier today, Mike and Wayne. Thank you. And a wedding wouldn't be complete without a cute little flower girl and a ring bearer helping you walk down the aisle. So a special thank you to Isabella and Ryland. <laughs> Somehow we convinced Brad and Melissa and Shane and Andrea to donate their kids to us even while they still have to take care of their new little infants. So thank you guys. Uh, it'd be fitting to acknowledge uh, our minister at Oak Bay, Deb, this morning, and here at Glen Meadows, uh, Randy and Joanne have been great, so if you're getting married, Randy and Joanne are the people to call. Uh, they arranged for all the wonderful staff here tonight, so I think it's a great time to acknowledge the wonderful staff, the bar, the kitchen, everyone in the room at Glen Meadows. Thank you very much, Glen Meadows. And where would we be without photos, cake, and music? Please join us in recognizing Edward Lai, our photographer extraordinaire. Oh, 
Rachel Anthony, our very own cake boss. Yeah. <laughs> and Graham Hunter, our craft master DJ. Take a bow, you guys. And family, <coughs> moms, dads, siblings, grandparents, all. We couldn't have done it without you. Raising us, supporting us, loving us, being patient with us, forgiving us, and supporting us again. For me in particular, I'd like to recognize the Harrisons, Richard and Maureen, and Mike and Liz and the whole clan. I could not have felt more welcomed into a home a circle, a culture, a life. From gusty winds and two meter wide highways in Ireland together, to matching Shiba Inu puppy dogs, to Christmases in Kitsilano and the Lynn Canyon, you guys made growing up settling down and being adopted very easy indeed. I also love how through the power of social media, both sides of our family have begun adopting one another. It does my heart very well to see Maureen posting on Bonnie's Facebook and Diane liking it. <laughs> the collaboration doesn't stop there. Uh, we need look no far, further than the uh, beautiful, sturdy, far less expensive than usual backdrop behind the uh, head table here. Um, Bonnie suggested fabric land, and Bill and Diane lent us the tent poles from the backyard, and Cyril built the wooden stands to put them in, and Richard Maureen cut and stitched and put it all together. Bravo, you guys, and thank you to all of our parents. Part of Mary and Trevor also meant gaining a new family and I'm very happy to be able to call all of you my in-laws now. Cyril, Patty, Bonnie, Bill, Diane, and Melissa, you were all so very loving and welcoming and really made me feel at home whenever I came to visit, and I truly appreciate that. Bill and Diane, I have adopted you as my grandparents now, and love that you were able to text me and communicate via Facebook. These are things I never got to experience with my own grandparents. I'm also so excited to officially be an auntie to both Isabella and Jackson. When Trevor asked me to marry him, I knew the answer was yes, but the decision was definitely made easier knowing I was also gaining a wonderful second family. Although I think at times you guys may have wondered if I really knew what I was getting into with Trevor. Last but not least, I also need to thank my mom and dad and brother for all of their love and support. I think my parents have for years been wondering when I'd finally get married, and more importantly, when they'd be getting grandchildren. And on that note, I know my family definitely uh, sympathizes. <laughs> Over the years of dating different guys, I began to realize that it was important to me that my family get along with and love my future husband, and my family didn't definitely let me know that they thought Trevor was a keeper. I'm surprised my mom didn't scare Trevor away when they first met because she was so in awe of his height. She didn't really say hello, she just said, wow, you really are tall. <laughs> Thank you, Mom and Dad, for welcoming Trevor into our family and for helping out in such a big way with the preparations for this wedding. I wouldn't be here today without your love and support. I also have to thank you for showing me what a lasting and loving marriage looks like since you have been together for 38 years this summer and I look forward to being married that long as well someday. Or perhaps I should say in 38 years from today. I am also blessed tremendously to have an amazing family as well. I look around the room and I am reminded of how truly lucky I am. As the shoe game pointed out, my papa and gub gub, Bill and Diane Barry, are an inspiration. They're creeping up on 59 years of marriage this fall. And then that's, that's, uh, the, the Belleville, Bellevue is where they had their honeymoon in Mission City, can you believe that? Um, growing up in their basement and in their backyard pool, they were always an extra mom and dad to us, and I will always appreciate it. Thank you so much, you guys. To my mom and dad, Bonnie and Cyril, who always put us kids ahead of everything else, I am proud to have you as parents and friends. To my wonderful stepmom, Patty, and my sister, Melissa, and the fantastic family that I got with the package. 
I am blessed indeed, thank you. My life was renewed when I became an uncle <laughs> to little Bella over there. And you, Bella, take a bow. You have been the star of the show today. <laughs> I'm so grateful. I see my Unra and my Anthony's cousins, and I feel the presence of Papa Pete and Jammy Jane that couldn't be here. They, they'd be gone. And I know Tasha is smiling with us all tonight. I hope you like our dance tonight, Tash. Um, yeah, so let's get happy. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Three years ago this weekend, I met a girl, a cute girl, who I couldn't stop hanging out with, to the point that I decided to take her over to Cap and Cora's wedding a month later, and uh, so many of you met Christine that trip, and she met so many of you, and it was a match. I'm um, not exactly why it took me fully three years to figure this fact out to make it a moral certainty, but I am sure glad that the rest of you kind of knew and helped me get there along the way. Thank you. Three years ago today, I probably should have walked away when the guy I met at Starbucks showed up not only in Crocs, but Crocs and socks. He was also a little slow on the draw in figuring out I wanted him to kiss me, but there must have been something charming about him, as I also seemed to want to spend all my time with him. We had a very full first weekend of dates, which turned into many full weekends. For the next three years, the last number of them being spent doing wedding projects. We have enjoyed so many things together, including going to many weddings and concerts, traveling to the Dominican in Europe, hanging out with friends and family, and most recently getting our first pet together, our little puppy Mia. I have known Trevor was the one for quite some time now, but a few things stood out right away. When I saw Trevor interact and talk about his niece Isabella, I knew he would be a great father, which was something very important to me. And I also still remember how he first let me know he loved me by taking me up to Uvic and playing I Just Called to Say I Love You on a saxophone for me. <laughs> I am definitely very happy to be standing here as Trevor's wife and look forward to many exciting years ahead and our plans to start a family. I love you, honey. I love you too, babe. So thank you very much, everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this evening's festivities.